Hello, and welcome to another uh, DevSuite training video. Today I'm going to be talking about um, the USB drivers that are available within DevSuite and uh, how to find the, the driver that's associated for the, uh, the operating system and the device that you have, and then how to install that. And uh, the first step we're going to go through with this, and as you see here, we already have DevWare installed. Um, but the first thing I want to do is go over the uh, go through the quick start guide uh, briefly, just kind of give you an idea of the information that's available. It's the the place you should start when you're looking uh, first installing DevWare, and um, and also uh, again you know installing the drivers and getting started. So um, the first page talks about how to get the software. Um, you'd either be getting that from uh, devsuite.com if you have a login, and if you don't, then you'd be contacting the uh, your associated uh, Eptina representative for them to get that software to you. Uh, next thing it's going to do, this guide does, is tell you about the Dev Suite, excuse me, the Dev Kit contents, and that's um, assuming that you went through and and bought a, a full kit, um, including the uh, the baseboard, uh, which would be a Demo 2X or Demo 3. In this demonstration, I have a Demo 2X. A USB cable and so on. Sometimes, if you already have a, a baseboard or, or a previous um, uh, dev kit, you would just get the headboard only. And then there are optional boards that go along with that. And here it tells you how to uh, assemble it. And then this caution here: want you don't connect the kit to your computer yet, because we want you to install the software. Now, this could be a very short uh, video uh, watching for you if you have Windows 7, because um, Windows 7 will uh, install the device driver for you uh, automatically. And that's a very nice feature. I've set it up so it will not, so we can go through the manual process. But um, if you have Windows 7, install DevWare, uh, connect to your USB cable, and uh, it'll install and load, uh, and load the driver for you, and you're done. It's that, mm -hmm. it's that simple with Windows 7. But in this case, it's not. So um, right now, you can't see this, but I'm going to um, attach the USB cable for the Demo 2X. I'm going to plug that in. And you'll notice that it comes through and for an installation. And in this case, there's an error condition. It wasn't able to install. Um, you can click here for details. But um, what you're going to want to do um, there is, um, is open up this first um, uh, document that we have here, which is the Optina Drivers uh, User Guide. So we're going to do that right now under Optina Imaging, all programs, Optina Imaging, uh, Docs, and uh, User Guides. And here's our driver user guide. So this is a, a one-page document meant more for a quick start guide for the folks, uh, for those of you who know how to install drivers already. Some of you may not, um, but it's pretty straightforward as far as this table. It tells you the uh, the that shows the uh, type of um, of uh, board that you have. Again, I have a Demo 2X. Demo 3 is another one. AV Stream is for direct uh, display type of devices, and Blackfin is a, a device, an older device we still support, but only in XP32 mode. So in case here for Demo 2X, um, across the top here, it talks about the this various OSs we support, both 32 and 64-bit of XP, Vista, and Windows. I have a Windows 764, so I need the USB 64W7. That's the name of the driver that I need. Uh, and down here it goes through and tells you about the, um, the instructions for um, XP or Windows 7, the actual driver uh, installation guide. And so I'll open up those in a minute. I'm going to keep this one open though because we're going to go back here and, and try this install. So I am going to uh, go through and open up the Windows 7 under Docs and User Guides and um, I have to scroll down here, and there's my Windows USB Windows 7 driver user guide. And here, uh, there's the message that we saw earlier that it did fail. Again, it shouldn't happen in normal cases. And then um, through here, it tells you uh, determine the cause of the installation. Now we do have uh, situations where you might have um, downrev firmware or something like that, and that's what this rolls through. And here it actually shows you, you know, what to look for for the um, uh, for the error case. But uh, the first thing to do in, in any case here is to go ahead and open up the device manager. So we go through and go to computer. And um, what we're going to do is look for system properties in device manager. Go back to computer. 
System Properties and Device Manager, and open that up. And here's our, our yellow uh, item for Demo 2X. And I'm not going to switch back and forth here with the document, but I mean, you can go through and, and scroll through here. The uh, an older version of our Demo 2 exports did have a downrev firmware. So if you do see this, you'll need to follow, you have to actually go back to an XP system and install firmware. But uh, at this point in time, this is about a year, year and a half ago, you probably won't see this this problem anymore. And one other thing to note here is that during uh, in this user guide, you'll see that there are references to Demo 2X or Demo 3. And uh, where those differences are, it'll actually um, uh, point that out. So I'm going to close this. Like I said, I'm going to, since I can go ahead and, and uh, do this uh, basically by heart since I've been doing it so many times. But again, we're looking for this driver, USB 64W7. I'll go back here. And I'm going to uh, click uh, double click this. And here it says driver's not installed. So I go to the driver page and I say uh, update driver. And um, I'm going to walk through the steps. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to tell uh, this, um, uh, this wizard here, to t you're going to tell exactly where to go and get the software. That's the best way to do it. So I'm going to browse my computer for driver software. And I'm going to say let me pick from the list of drivers cause since I know where they are. Uh, now you're going to see all these uh, different types of d uh, devices, and what you want to look for is universal serial bus or USB controllers, and do a next here. And then you're going to say, I have a disk. So here we're going to browse, and uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my computer, and I'm going to go to, oh, excuse me. I have this installed in the D drive of Tina Imaging. And I happen to know that these files are located under the drivers. Again, if we look at our document here, that's what it's saying. It's under the Tina Imaging Drivers document. Uh, sorry, location to Tina Imaging Drivers. And then um, here I'm going to go look for the various uh, oper I, mean, I have a presentation of the various operating systems that I have. And I'm going to go to Windows 7 64. And I'm looking for USB 64W7. And there it is. So I select that and do open. At this point now I have it selected, I do OK, and I'm going to do Next. It's going to go through and say Installing, and I have successfully updated uh, my, uh, my driver. And so now it is working. So I'll close this, and um, I'll close this, and then what we'll see under uh, Device Manager is a voila. We have now a working Demo 2X, working properly, ready to go. Close this. Now I'm done with this. I can close this as well. Close this, a little bit of housekeeping here, get all this squared away. And um, and then uh, I can click um, Devware and start it. Takes a little bit, and uh, and there we go. It's been able to identify the, uh, um, the part, and uh, I don't have a very interesting image uh, to look at right now. I'm just uh, pointing at a, a flat screen, but um, there we have Devware, and it's running we have a usable image. Apologize there for that dull, boring image, uh, but uh, that's basically it. So um, there you have it. Um, you have the, uh, the instructions now on how to load your USB device and get working in DevWare.